So they finally arrived. I've been expecting you. Thank you, sir. Lord Frieza, we humbly await to carry out your orders. The traitorous Vegeta has stolen the Dragon Balls I've gone to great lengths to obtain. Make him suffer for his crime and then bring him to me alive. Consider it done. Scouters have already locked off. We have Vegeta's location. Lord Frieza, here's that scouter you ordered. Thank you. Now, time for our mission! Men, are you ready for this? To battle! Bulma, no time to talk. We're taking the Dragon Ball. What? What's going on? Was that... Vegeta just now? Uh. Well, hey there, Vegeta. They're fast. We didn't even see them coming. Damn it. We were so close. Oh? If I'm not mistaken, that's one of the Dragon Balls, isn't it? The five behind you, plus the two you're holding? <laughs> that adds up to all seven! Yeah, and you're not getting your purple hands on them! Fine, we'll just have to take them from you then. Guldo! Sir! <laughs> Uh, how did he? Uh. Damn it! So that tubby four-eyed freak actually does have the ability to stop time. Not good. And that's all seven of them. All that's left is to finish you guys off. Vegeta, your suffering will be handled by me personally. Hey, not so fast, Captain. You got to have all the fun last time. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. I suppose you're right. Fine. Raccoon, you take Vegeta. Guldo, you take the two kids. This should be interesting. Aren't I a great captain? Oh, In the meantime, I'll deliver the Dragon Balls to Lord Frieza. And then he will finally be able to attain immortality! <laughs> so, Guldo, why don't you finish those pipsqueaks off first, huh? <laughs> this isn't fair! I'm gonna be done with this in no time! All right, here goes nothing. Release your power! There's more to you rush than I thought! Let's make this quick! Oh, my God. 
can I? A member of the Ginyu Force be beaten by these kids? Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Whoa! You see that? Gudo just got his butt handed to him! Oh, that's just great! Now that we're down a man, our special fighting pose is going to look ridiculous! Well, I guess Captain Ginyu's gonna have to come up with a new pose that the four of us can do. Whew. We did it! Yeah, if we can keep this up until Goku gets here, we should be okay. You two really are off on your own little world, aren't you? Gulda was nothing. He's the weakest of the bunch. The real suffering truly starts now. All right, Vegeta. Now, it's our turn to play. <laughs> you kids can play too if you want. <laughs> Heck, I'll play with all of you. than you were before. Magnificent Captain Ginyu. I must admit, I'm impressed you were able to gather all seven Dragon Balls so quickly. There's no higher honor than such praise from you, Lord Frieza. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it is finally time to turn my dream of immortality into a reality. Let's begin, shall we? Dragon Balls! I command you to grant me immortality and eternal youth! Sir? Are you... are you immortal now? Uh, no. I suspect not. Ah, yes. There must be some sort of incantation to activate them. Ah, 
perhaps some sort of secret phrase that only the Namekians know. Seems I'll have to hunt down more of those worms. Oh? Look at that. I'm picking up three Namekian power signatures. It appears a few of them survived. Lord Frieza, if you would like, I can force the phrase out of them. No, I think I'll ask them myself. You'll do well to remember that I have experience dealing with these primitive creatures. Captain Ginyu, you stay here and keep watch over the Dragon Balls. Understood, Lord Frieza. I won't disappoint you. are nothing but a bunch of pushovers. Well, might as well put the three of you out of your misery. Huh? What was that? Where'd that spaceship come from? It's Goku. He, he finally made it. We have arrived on planet Namek. I gotta find those three fast! Please be alive, you guys. Please be safe. Goku's heroic arrival. Huh? Go on? And Krillin? They're in trouble! They're hanging on by a thread. They're really close. Right where those three huge powers are. <laughs> well, that wasn't much fun. Ah! Say goodbye! Finally, show your face. Gohan, here you go. It's a sensu bean. Give some to the others, too. I'm gonna fight these guys on my own. Huh, you wanna fight me? What's a puny little guy like you gonna do? There's no way you can beat me!
I think it's finally time to show you my best stuff. Raccoon! Ultra! Sorry, you were wide open, so I just went for it. You, you, you. <laughs> Damn, how is this possible? He's already gone beyond a Saiyan power level, but how? <laughs> What kind of training has he put himself through to achieve this? Wait. What, are the stories more than legends? Could it possibly be? Is he the legendary Saiyan warrior that appears once every thousand years? Is he actually a Super Saiyan? What about you guys? You gonna go back to your own planet or what? Or do you want to end up like this guy over here? Whoa! You hear that, Bert, huh? This spiky head whip must be out of his mind! Yeah, he actually believes that he has the power to take down Raccoon. Oh, he just got lucky. Raccoon wasn't fighting at his best, that's all. Yeah, that was a fluke. I mean, his power level didn't even go over 5,000. Give me a break. Here we go! Yeah! So, you won't go back, huh? No way! Yeah. 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 
moment he lands a strike. He, he must be trying to conserve his energy. That power spike is probably too quick for even their advanced scouters to detect. His power level is unbelievable. How can... Where is all this power coming from? Do you understand now? Just give up already! And leave this planet! Uh, uh, this must be some sort of nightmare! How can we elite warriors be so p -p powerless against this guy? Your naivete makes me sick. Why would you let them get away with that? You may have grown stronger, but that doesn't make you a Super Saiyan. Far from it! Super Saiyan? I can see that you're proud of how much you've increased your power. But that won't be nearly enough to defeat Frieza. Frieza, huh? That's the guy King Kai told me about. Wait, so even after all the training I did, you're saying I'm still not strong enough to beat him? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Frieza possesses more power than you could ever possibly imagine. Uh, maybe you're wrong. I mean, you saw what Goku can do, right? I mean, those guys couldn't even lay a finger on him. Goku is unstoppable. Then fight him and find out for yourself. But that's not all. Breeze has probably already used the Dragon Balls to wish for immortality. No, I, I don't think he's done that yet. What? How would you know? Well, if it's like using the Dragon Balls on Earth, the sky should get really dark and Shinron appears. But... It's been bright this whole time, which means he probably hasn't made his wish yet. Shen what? What the heck's a Shenron? You mean something comes out of the Dragon Balls? Oh yeah, that's right. He probably doesn't know how to summon Shenron. That means we still have a chance to make our wish. Hooray! <laughs> Appears we've got some company arriving. Looks like Jace has brought Captain Ginyu along with him. Wait, where's Frieza? I thought for sure he'd be back at his ship with the Dragon Balls that Captain Ginyu brought him. I'm sensing some massive energy over there. That's gotta be Frieza. Uh, over there? Oh, we're in big trouble now. That's where Guru is. Oh no. Frieza's probably going to force Guru to tell him how to make a wish with the Dragon Balls! 
Yeah. And once he's figured that out, he's gonna kill Guru for sure. He doesn't know that he won't be able to use the Dragon Balls if Guru dies. The what? That settles it. Krillin and Gohan, you two get the Dragon Balls. Me and Vegeta will go stop Frieza. Right. And if we don't hurry, Guru is done for. We have to find Bulma and get the Dragon Radar. Yeah, good idea. Good luck, guys. And be careful. Goku, go get him! Come on, Vegeta, let's go. We're gonna go greet those Ginyu guys. Fine. You've got some real guts, you know that? The captain's gonna make you pay for what you did. Really? So this is the guy, huh? His power level's around 5,000. Just like we said, makes no sense, right? Absurd! Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake. Don't be a fool! Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? Science don't have that much power? Promising. This'll be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time. All right, let's do this, Vegeta. You take that smaller guy over there. Kakarot and Ginyu are more or less equal in terms of power. If I'm lucky enough, maybe the two of them might take each other out. This is the end of the line for you. Farewell, Kakarot! Vegeta! Here I go! Man, I can't believe Vegeta takes me like that. I guess he probably thinks he can get his hands on a Dragon Ball while me and this guy fight it out. This guy's a lot more capable than he looks. Whoa! 
something about that too I have no idea what you guys are talking about S S Super Saiyan you mean you mean the legendary warrior no this cannot be is, is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of I don't know about that, but what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you... joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior. One that lives only for battle and bloodshed. Oh, I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace! Take my scouter! What are you doing? <laughs> that body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it! Change! going on what what am I doing all the way over there we've made a trade your body is mine now hey captain here's your scout right now back to the ship it's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already <laughs> So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi-Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy 
see me the way I am right now. The radar's showing that the Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. So, they actually buried them in the ground. Huh. We've got all of them now. Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Harunga appears. Well, here goes. Right. Come forth, Shenron! And grant our wishes! Uh, nothing happened. What's going on? Where's... Where's Shinron? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it! What the hell are those two doing? Quillen! Someone's coming this way! <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does... does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the... Goku, did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls! How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. That's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it. Wait, what did you say? <sighs> hmm? And you're? Krillin, Gohan, that's not me. <laughs> wow, you actually made it this far. <laughs> That's correct. I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force, Captain Ginyu! <laughs> no, it can't be. That's my dad? He swapped bodies. All this really complicates things. Go on. Trillin! I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah, you're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool! The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks! Let me join in a fight, Captain! Or I could totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Vegeta! When, when did you... New body of mine out! It's us! You ah! have a gun! Oh, 
long as my dad's mind is separated from his body. Solar flare! Got a gun! This body should have a lot more power than this! No use, buddy. Give it up already. The great captain Ginyu doesn't give up. Don't be ridiculous. What just happened? 
Yes, I did it. <laughs> I turned him into a frog. <laughs> Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it's too late for you. Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. He, he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? A little worm from before. You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? I'm not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Falls. No! All five of them couldn't have... They couldn't have all been defeated. No, something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Falls. And the Dragon Balls! No! The almighty Freezer will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you!